New Zealand is a hunter's paradise with some giant animals and some of the most beautiful terrain imaginable. Every season we travel to new destinations, places that us as hunters seek out for new species and new challenges. After years of careful planning, thanks to Scott Jordan, we are finally headed to Lethan Valley. In New Zealand, it's a $375 fine for dirty boots, and they can actually keep your boots, and they might keep that young man at customs. Buffalo to Chicago, we got a four hour flight to Los Angeles, and then the big flight to the North Island, New Zealand. It's getting real now. Real now. We're almost there. <laughs> We're in Los Angeles. We're not even close. Still gotta wait here another eight hours. Fly another 13, get on another plane, wait another three. We're almost there. So, Los Angeles Airport. Next stop, New Zealand. Get from there to here. To here. It's been a long trip so far, but I'm not Let's do this. Let's go. My father came here after the war in 1948. He got a rehab loan, which was a lot cheaper than most loans you could get those days to get started. At that time, there was quite a few red deer running around in this whole area. It had 1,500 sheep at that time and they had about a 50% lambing, which is, compared with nowadays, it's more like 150%. <laughs> So, um, yeah, first things first, we always come down to the range and make sure the rifles are shooting straight and the hunters can hit the target <laughs> at 100 yards. Um, and then once we've done that, we'll talk through our wee safety briefing, but you don't need to hear that. Um, that'll drag on. Um, and then we'll go for a wee walk up the hill, just a wee one, and see if we can see any animals out browsing. Well, we just had a really nice little stock. So a quote unquote management stack. Uh, I don't know about that. And then a bunch of big fowls. So and uh, got everybody excited. Tomorrow will be the name of the game. <laughs> they won't know that we're humans. Day one, Brandon. Day one. Here we go. Chad is up to bat. We got Jake driving us to our spot. We're already seeing animals from camp. We're anxious, we don't know what to expect. I mean, at this point, it's gonna unfold. 
pretty quick, I think. Yeah, absolutely. You're up to bat, big man. Oh, we'll see. I'm in no rush. I'm enjoying this. We saw a giant stag last night right at last light. And uh, it's just an absolute amazing experience already. We're glassing from here. We might already see some stuff. First morning, New Zealand, look at this. This is amazing. So we come to the top and we've got a fallow deer. I mean, we're here for red stag, but the amount of fallow deer is mind blowing. So we're just gonna hike this, drop in this valley, work our way back up, look for stags. Possibly, if the situation occurs, we might shoot a fallow deer this morning. valley over here. First thing this morning we spotted fallow in this little cradle. So we just hiked this whole bottom, came up on top, and right down over this ridge there's some giant fallow there. So I think Jake's gonna give us the green light. We're gonna go after him. What do you think, Jake? Alright, that's all I need. Let's get together. Let's do this. Right. Let's <laughs> that is a fallow deer in New Zealand. Jake, my man. That was awesome. Thanks for the shot, guys. You know, Sweet. he didn't mess around. He said, take him, didn't he? he said, take him. They were, he was facing away from me. Beautiful. Yeah. And I said to him, he's facing away. And Jake says, shoot him in the neck. <laughs> so I shot him in the neck. Yeah. Beautiful. Good shoot. Yes, yes. <laughs> guys, look yeah, at that. That was awesome. Thank you, man. Shot guys. Guys, look at this. <laughs> we are on the top of the world. First morning in New Zealand. Leithan Valley. Hunting red stag. But this place has so many opportunities. So, first morning. Uh, well, last night we saw a giant red stag. So we kind of came back to the same area. Yeah. And uh, first thing this morning, there's fallow deer everywhere we look everywhere and a, a, a guy from western new york sees something like this and this is an absolutely amazing deer so jake says oh yeah it's an old old buck let's just go after him and here we are yeah it worked out <laughs> it worked out thank Perfect. you man so tell me about this buck how old is he i mean what i don't know anything about fallow deer well usually with fallow especially old management or bucks that are starting to go backwards um usually show it in the panels. And they usually get thinner through here as they get older. And big tall wide frame is usually a good indication. Usually a big old buck will have big old brows on them too, but not it's not always the case. Like these this is a genetic trait here with these wee short brows, but it's the same as any deer species really. The coronets are nice and low there and his teeth are worn worn out pretty good so no, he's a perfect buck to take. He no, is the perfect deal. buck to take. Lots of character. Oh <laughs> I am absolutely in love yeah. with this thing. Thank you guy. Thank you Jake. Sean, Brandon, Rachel, Ali, Snow, Scott, Jordan. This has been an amazing adventure already. And it has just begun. 
Perfect. Awesome. Obviously, I sit here with my first muskox, and what's even more impressive is these new Cirrus units. They're working. It's in negative 20s right now. USB charging port, LED lights, the all-new Cirrus wind indicator is working right here in Greenland in the middle of March. Covert Scouting Cameras combines top quality trail cameras with exceptional customer service and support. Leading the world in wireless trail camera technology, Covert remains the best in the game. So we had a good morning. Chad shot a fallow buck. We saw some nice stags, saw one that we can hopefully get on tonight. We're up here glassing a new property and we came across these Arab power rams. And uh, we're gonna see if we can't put a stock on them. Get within range. There it is, bud. <laughs> New Zealand, bud. Mid day, Jake says, hey, let's go to another spot, see what we can find. And he saw these rams and said, yeah, let's get on them. Yeah. And we just put an awesome stock. That was main nine. First one failed. We were within range, just the camera. We just couldn't get on them. This was perfect. We were lucky enough, the wind was perfect. And uh, we just made a 45 yard shot. <laughs> Broadside into a ram in New Zealand. <laughs> We've got a whole trip ahead of us, and what a complete bonus here in New Zealand. The scenery speaks for itself, and we are here having the time of our life already on day one. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, our boy Trey shot a stag this morning too, so. Thank you so much. <laughs> yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Good job, buddy. Thank you. Good job. You have no idea. You're gonna in a minute. He's a beauty, all right. He's awesome. Old stag with a lot of mass. Bit of velvet. 
it's good luck. The Scott Jordan with CRCS Outdoors. Here we are in the wilds of New Zealand with Leithen Valley Trophy Hunts. And once again, uh, you can see we got the job done. This young man, Trey Myers, shot a management, oh, excuse me, uh, Rachel upgraded him a little bit because we were having a hard time finding a very small stag this morning. Nice job, buddy. Yeah. How many yards was it? 230. Congratulations, buddy. That Thank was, you. This is a magnificent animal, and, and at some point you'll realize how, how crazy big that is. How many points? 30. 30 point stag, and then look at all of that man. Well, thanks, um, Jake. Uh, yeah. We appreciate Adieu. it, and uh, on to the next. Yeah. Grab some lunch and <laughs> get back to camp and get after some stag. Go shoot some stuff. All right. pictures and he's wedged in this tree so we're gonna try to get a saw and get him cut out of here and hopefully he'll get out get down in here and just rest I'm not gonna try to stress him but that is a giant stag this is a terrible terrible situation for that for that stag but we're gonna try to get him It's okay, buddy. It's all right. You're good. You're in good hands, bud. Hopefully saving the stag's life. I'm hoping. It's amazing how they can just get themselves so tangled up. That's big stuff. Have you ever done this before? Yeah. Let me fall here in a second. Here in my GoPro. Well, at least that one. So you get up. He's going to be free. Too. We didn't get anything tonight with you guys, but fingers crossed we saved that stag's life, eh? Yeah. That would be nice. 
It would be real nice. Yeah. Yeah, but you can't complain. Look at this. <laughs> pretty sweet. That's pretty, pretty sweet. The old moon. It's killing us. <laughs> We're having uh, some red stag backstraps, um, actually from pre-season, that we saved up so you can taste what they're like before the rut and <laughs> then we'll eat what we killed this week too. So we've got the first ones hanging of trays and we've actually cooked up one of your tenderloins tonight, okay. which is very fresh. So I gotta say that it's a privilege to be able to share my Leithen Valley family from New Zealand with my friends. <laughs> yeah. yeah, awesome. It's my a whole deal. It's yeah, not nice. just about 